Hey guys, Jacob here with the Pool Supply. Today we have the Pentair Rebel. This is the full size Rebel and it is a really cool cleaner. Uh, stay tuned, we're gonna dive in this box and rip it all apart and show you what it's all about. All right, now we're back. So I got the Pentair Rebel here. Uh, this one is a trade grade version of their pool cleaner. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you their other versions that they have, like the Rebel that you can buy from anywhere. But trade grade with Pentair means that you can buy it from a pool builder, service, repair, or retailer, non-online retailer. So, two-year warranty, pretty solid uh, warranty for a pool cleaner. Pentair will warranty the whole thing, parts labor the whole nine yards. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about fixing your pool cleaner. So, let's open this thing up, let's dive in, show you what it's all about. Cool. So now, we got our Rebel. Pretty cool cleaner, actually. So it looks a lot like uh, Hayward's two-wheel and also the Pool Vernugan two-wheel. So yeah, this thing comes with a two-year warranty. Pretty solid, you guys don't have to worry about anything. Um, however, this cleaner, it's pretty sweet. Everybody wants to go with these uh, wheel-style cleaners. That way they cruise around your pool. No wearable parts that are banging against anything. Obviously, the tracks here, uh, they do have to interchange out once they do kind of wear down a little bit. And what you do, you just peel them off and kind of replace them. It makes it very simple maintenance. So, cleaner. This is the Rebel. So, another one that looks just like that, that Pentair has, they call it the Little Rebel. It's this little brother. So, as you can see here, this one's meant for above ground pool. So if you have above ground pool, check out our video on the Little Rebel. Uh, you can take a look at it, it's really, really cool. This is the concrete version and the in-ground pool version. So, we recommend that. The third option. This is the one they call the Warrior. The Warrior is virtually the white version of the Rebel. So the Warrior can be sold online. You can buy it for whatever you want. Take a look at it online. It's a great cleaner. Um, the Blue Rebel has beefier tires, which we really like. Um, however, the Warrior is a pretty solid cleaner. It's the exact same guts. So that's it. Blue, white, pretty neat. So the Rebel. Um, as you can see, it's got the roller bars on the bottom. So that thing hovers across the bottom of your surface and kind of just picks up debris, catches it in. Um, switching over here, as you can see the hole, so as you see my hand is this big, um, the hole is real small to catch debris. So you're, you're missing out on rocks, you're missing out on a lot of things. Um, however, the nice part I guess is it's not going to get clogged on the rocks and stuff like that because they can't accept it. So it's not gonna stop the impeller on the inside. It's probably just gonna sit over the rock and just keep on the rock. So that's my only negative about this cleaner is the hole's not the largest. Um, but as you can see, watch, I'll take this apart. So if for some reason something gets stuck in there, the easiness, the ease of actually opening this up and clearing out the junk, it's probably one of my favorite cleaners out there. The MX-8 from Zodiac, similar. However, this one, you can access every part of the cleaner just by popping the lid off in one step. So all I have to do is pop the lid off in the front right here, and that's it. And then literally, as you can see, I'll just lift it off. And now I can access the entire interior guts of the cleaner, which is really nice because sometimes debris mostly gets stuck inside the impeller right here, or the turbine, and that's all fine and dandy, but if they would have kept a cover right here, if debris would have been over here, one more thing you gotta take off. But they gave you access to the whole cleaner, which is really cool. So if a rock gets stuck there, a leaf, anything like that, you just pull it out, put the cover back on, call it a day. These gears here are super reinforced. They're very thick, they're very nice. They're, oh, watch out. They're, uh, they're not gonna break very easily. So that's one thing that we really do like about this cleaner. And what you see here is what you get. So. The gears are sold in kits, um, and this is all the moving parts. It's literally all the white gears that you see here, and that's it. There's no hidden parts here or there. There's nothing else making this thing not work. Um, it's very simple to change out. We'll throw another video your way on how to rebuild this cleaner for when it does actually um, go out on you, but again, it's super simple. Um, yeah, so let me throw this thing back together. Let's see if I can do this relatively quick. Okay, 
that's the cleaner. So now let's talk about what's inside the box. So now you got a little leader hose that goes right on the cleaner right here. Boom. So leader hose goes on the cleaner. So now we got this little guy. The regulator valve threaded compression adapter. Uh, this is your pretty much your adapter that goes in the skimmer and the hose can go right in. Pretty straightforward. Got your float, so the float goes on right here. And what this actually does, ah! all right. So what this actually does is releases a little tension off the cleaner. So it gives it a little less weight on the bottom of the floor. Um, that way it can cruise over things, main drain, stuff like that. Um, go up the walls a little bit. Uh, it just re releases a lot of the weight and that way things last a lot longer as well. So now you've got your regulator valve and this pretty much will divert the suction. If you have a skimmer um, and you don't want it to go full suction to the cleaner, you can just turn this knob and that way it diverts suction and you're not going to blow out the cleaner too fast. If you have a dedicated wall suction on the side of your on the side of your pool to where this cleaner can plug in, so you might have a skimmer over here, then a dedicated wall suction for your cleaner, you have a backlock right here. So your backlock is actually your anti-trapment door, to where that way the door opens up, the cleaner hose goes in, and if you pull the cleaner out, that door will slam shut, and you have to get a tool or a flathead to pop it back open. Ultimately, what that is is like nobody likes to swim with their pool cleaner in. Um, every suction cleaner should have one of these in my opinion. But what it is, is when that thing closes and you take your pool cleaner out, it, man it automatically closes spring loaded. That way someone's hair, if it brushes up against it, doesn't get sucked in there. Cause your pump was probably still running the whole time while your cleaner's running. So we really highly recommend putting your back lock in. Now you've got your flow gauge. So when you're doing installation and you're putting this on the end of the hose, you can turn in your tune, turn, tune your, <laughs> tune your suction in. And that way you want this thing. So you take this off and all of this is underwater, of course. And that way you put the suction on, you have minimum and maximum. So you want that white thing to sit in between there. When you've got that perfectly dialed in on your suction, take this off and put your cleaner on. And then you're probably never going to use that thing again best part is, so if you have a Pentair variable speed pump, you can actually tune in some things as well. Uh, we highly recommend getting a variable speed pump. That way you can actually put this at the exact RPMs or the GPMs that are required for it. And that way the pump will just handle everything for you. You've got a little 45 adapter uh, that again, if it's coming out of the wall, it points the hose up. Eyeball return fittings, which blow my mind that this cleaner comes with this. Uh, most pools already have eyeball return fittings, but they give you two. Here in Arizona, this is where we are. Most pools have three, so it's kind of interesting to me, but these go on your side walls and you can divert water which way you want to go with that. This is your hose protector. So the hose protector is really straightforward. Um, if you have your cleaner going into your skimmer, um, there's always a, a skimmer throat. Maybe we can show you a picture of it here on the video. Um, the skimmer throat, because the hose is going back and forth, it scrapes the bottom of like where your tile is or if there's pebble tech there or something like that, it's going to either wear it on your pebble tech or tile or wear it on your hose. So they recommend wrapping your cleaner in this little protector. And then we've got a cap for the flow regular valve doesn't really comprehend to me why they give you a cap for the flow regulator valve, but they gave you a cap for the flow regulator valve. So, box of hoses, we got 40, 40 inch hoses, okay? And we have 12 of them. So, it's quite a bit of hoses for your pool. Most uh, pools that have suction cleaners are usually right in the middle of the pool. So you can go 40 direction, 40 feet in both directions, which is kind of neat. So, this can take a relatively large pool. Um, and you have all the hoses that you're gonna need for it, which is fantastic. So the hoses are grayish blue. So let me pull one out for you so you can see what they kind of look like. Uh. 
Yeah, so as you can see here, it's the same color as the other hoses and it's more of a bluer so it matches the cleaner as well, which is kind of nice. Um, I believe the Warrior comes with like a straight gray hose. Um, that way, because that, white, black, and gray, they all kind of go together and this is just blue and blue. So again, you're getting 12 of these things, which is quite a bit. It doesn't look like a lot, but it actually is quite a bit. So pretty cool cleaner. We highly recommend the Rebel Cleaner. Um, it is just, it's a workhorse. We really, really like it. Easy to maintain, easy to keep on maintenance. It, it's gonna last you a very long time in your pool. Again, the Rebel Warrior, same cleaner, both great. We really highly recommend this cleaner. Um, go out, buy one, you're gonna love it. We highly recommend it here at E-Pool Supply. I'm Jacob, thanks for watching, subscribe. Thanks. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Subscribe today if you haven't subscribed. Check out the links below and we got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you.